Take a swing, I dare you, Lois. Deja vu! Hi guys, welcome back to a Wacko's review. The only reviewer that is a black hole. Now, that novel makes sense because I'm actually running out of things to say. So please, what I want you to do is, if you're interested in being my next intro, just send me a video saying my intro, I'm putting your own spin into it, and funniest to be used on this channel. So yeah, subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to my second channel. If we get to 1,000 subscribers on that channel, I'll do a face review on that channel. So you better go and subscribe, like this video, and roll intro. You guys are something else. As soon as the episode dropped, I started getting bombarded with messages. To think I was growing a family here, I thought you loved me. I know I attacked and I yabbed some of you guys in my videos and also in the comment section. I know I asked for your address so I could send boys your way. But is that the reason why you should hate on love? Two years guys, I've hyped Jasmine for two years. But it's all good, you guys win. I will review this episode without any bias. Enjoy! This episode should be named Amino because anytime we thought we were getting another character, Red TV was like, no! <laughs> but even though other characters got lesser screen time, we still got something out of them at least. So let's talk about them. Tayo met Tiara's dad, he said Tiara is now in rehab and the next few questions he asked was just him checking if Tayo would actually go and visit her in the rehab center and not say, Adios amigo! Your daughter is a psycho! At this point he should have left Tayo in peace. But nah, do you know who he is? He is this guy. Sir, please just... Get out! Explain what? Explain what? Explain. Let's hear what his explanation Explain! Explain you! Explain! He then asked the question that Nigerian fathers only ask when a man wants to marry his daughter, which is, do you love my daughter? And Tayo could not answer because he is white! And Tiara's dad was like, adios, nigero! <laughs> oh, the contract is yours. Why is this part still echoed? I'm far away from the mic. Why am I echoed? <laughs> <laughs> but this episode for Tyre was him finding himself and deciding if he really loves the tough year old that he has been dating the whole season. <laughs> She's tough. She's tough. Don't ask me. Don't. I, I don't write this thing. I just read the script. I'm not lying. Oh, and I forgot. No, actually, we all forgot. Tayo has a child and he's out here dating anyone that has a waist beat. Dunganga Dongus had a small screen time. He first started this episode by calling his fifth baby mama and she ended the call faster than in Nigeria when they hear an outside man on the other end of the call. <laughs> Wrong number, sir. Wrong number. Stop calling me. And he goes to his 12th baby mama and she said, Okay, I'm ready to get exclusive with you now that I've ruined your relationship. Yay! It's in the script. Anything I say is in the script. Don't question my yay. Then as Larry was about to lay down hard on his baby mama, that sounded wrong, but it's in the script. But as he was about to end her whole career, Lola came in confused like the next person that also man was going to call. <laughs> Wrong number, sir. I told you wrong number. Stop calling me. And what Lola did here was she just changed it big time for Larry because she thought he was still doing things with Mrs. Dawson. Doings. That whole trend is the deadest thing I've seen online. Doings. And you know Lola has no chill. This babe started threatening him and Larry had this look in his face that only says, I'm a man. I am strong. But you keep threatening me. If I touch you, they will say I know I can't attempt what I did in the last review today So for the first time you guys will get an actual unbiased review With no tricks Stop the cap <laughs> We all know Jasmine is worried because her secret has been exposed and normally I don't like her mom but she said something here that made me love her for the first time in this show. Tie up our loose ends as in what mommy as in kill. Mommy. You get somebody to do the job. Say less. <laughs> the sniper guys never left. Just give them the special signal. They don't need to move. They've gone. They've gone. They've, they've, they've killed me still. I'm sorry. I, I told you guys. Do you still have your Jasmine shirt? Then after saying that, she then said this. I hope it won't come back and bite your bum bum. Get out. Can we talk about the wood maltreatment in this episode? Wood have emotions, guys. And you guys maltreated it all through this episode. Watch this. What a thrill. With darkness oh and silence. Why? 
but I'm three. But the reason why Aminu was about to break down her door was because she was angry that she put the baby on him. Is this the first time a rich man? It's like a normal thing. <laughs> he was vexed and he almost cried because he finally had that connection with the child. She begged, he was still angry, but deep down he knew he couldn't touch her because... May we not apply causes to ourselves. Let cause not come to you. He then left with Misty and when she was about to console him with her feminine attribute, he said, let me go outside and take fresh air. <laughs> then my guy went to drink with Louis. <laughs> I don't like Aminu. <laughs> Well, this is the best thing he did in this episode. Aminu then told Louis about his issue and the fact that he might not be the father of the baby. And for a moment, it looked like Aminu was finally about to cry. I knew it. I know you're depressed at the moment, but hey, <laughs> I knew it. That's all that matters. Then the gang came in. I'm talking about Dunganga, Dungus. And he's second in command, Waste Beat. He came back home after smoking and drinking, and his housewife was there. <laughs> That was a joke, <laughs> that was a joke. She's walking, and again, if you want to be a stay-at-home mom, it's totally fine. But my only advice is don't allow this guy to come and pray for your wife when you're not at home. I've heard his gist in the streets. He's a serial donor. One time, seven kids. Jasmine's mom left, good readings. Aminu found out he's not the father good for him. Aminu then confronted Patrick and spoke on how sad the situation was. And for the first time, Patrick showed remorse. And this is new Please, to all of cry. us because we haven't Please. seen him in this Please, vulnerable Jasmine state cry. before. Damn, I don't know how to feel about this, man. It's like I lost. And I won't argue. But guys, guess what? The show is not over. Something will happen. And when it happens, I'll be back to make noise. Don't be too happy. I'll be back. <laughs> you want to that this part is echoed? cold? <laughs> Wait, that remarks. Please, stop this madness. What do you want from me? Uh, what do you want? Please! Then the episode ended with Lola finding Louis in a very questionable situation. And the sad part was that it was in their new home. It's like karma. You used to sleep with him when they were together. Now this is happening to you. Wow. Why, man? <laughs> so what are your expectation? Mine is he will lose everything he owns. And I can't wait for it. I definitely can't wait for it. What's yours? Drop it down in the comment section. And yeah, RIP to Wudo. You'll be missed. Three. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful video. Um, I have some things to say. So as I said, get my second channel to 1,000 subscribers and boom, shaka, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, face review. Face review. I've posted so far two, no, four videos there. Yeah, I posted four videos there. And more videos to come. It's just this period is like busy. A busy period but I'm, I'm posting every week at least you guys will get the video every week so guys tell me how are you doing how are you doing that's the question of the day how are you doing how is covid ha ha um, treating you guys me mom i'm sweating <laughs> not happy <laughs> yeah i also have a patreon jeez it's just now i'm realizing i have a patreon <laughs> ah! <laughs> i'm so sorry but anyways Anybody that gets to this point would likely be the people that would subscribe to Patreon. So I have a Patreon if you want to support me to get a <laughs> new computer. The link is also in the description. All links you would find in the description. Thank you guys for watching this lovely video. I will catch yourself on the next one. All I want you to do now is twerk. If you can't twerk, please unsubscribe. <laughs> unsubscribe right now. <laughs> Bye. See you. Sometimes to put on what people don't like Frost to that like it Many times to went far to embarrass me But that is my cross me I